I was like you. I decided it'd be cool to hang out with some of the tough kids. Mm. You know who I'm talking about. They were hanging on the streets late at night. More than cigarette smokers' homes. And then, one day, I got shot out of a catapult. That's it. Now, I know this plan is foolproof. Check this out. First of all, you and me start working at the bank. Doesn't matter the position, okay? Just so long as we get in there, all right? Then, we just go there every day, do the work, gain their trust until we get them in the palm of our hand. All right? That's how we get the money. <laughs> That's the beauty of it, bro. They deposit the money into our bank accounts. Week after week, month after month, they not even gonna know they being robbed. And then 20, 30 years later, we walk out the front door like nothing even happened. Mother that's called a job! What's the joke? What? I don't get it. Man, you shot that damn fool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I still don't get it. Hey, man, ain't nothing to get. Uh, shit is just funny, man. Dude can't snitch now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. I can tell. No, I think it's really funny. No, you don't? But look at him, sitting there all dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was 20 and now he's dead. <laughs> Ain't never gonna have a wife or kids now. Man, what are you doing? Wife and kids? That shit ain't funny. <laughs> His mom and dad ain't never gonna see him again. <laughs> no. No. You're ruining it for me. Okay, well, I guess I just don't get it then. It's just that you shot him. That's all. That's the whole thing. Oh, okay, so... Oh! The hell is wrong with you? You don't shoot a dude that's already dead? That's not funny? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I just don't get it. Louis Lawrence is beginning his life sentence. In order to survive, he must join a gang. But you understand, I know how it worked, right? When you're in prison, what you need is protection rights. And the way to do that is by getting into a gang. I was surprised to find out that there is a ball gang in prison. They gonna be my homies. Talking about some BBWW. Ball brothers, what, what? What's up, homie? <laughs> nice haircut. 
Get the f out of here. They, I mean, they haven't officially asked me to be in the gang yet, because you need to earn their respect first. Hey! You're in the wrong neighborhood, black mother right there, okay? That's what they call a jump in. That's the initiation process. So it's my understanding that I am now a member of the Ball Brotherhood gang, okay? I mean, those mother beat the out of me. That's a euphemism you hear all the time. But you don't know if it's true. It can't be true. How's it possible? But that mother bip and diarrhea just went right out my ass. So I hope, like, I hope that's like lifetime dues right there. It's the happiest day of my life, is what I'm saying. Despite the lack of encouragement, Lewis continues to try and ingratiate himself to the gang. What? This long-haired bitch! Uh, uh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, hero. Trying to creep up on my bald brothers, bitch. I ought to kick you again. What? Oh, what? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, you all right, man? You all right? Come on, get him, get him. We got you, son. We got you, son. Get your hands up in your head, having mother. I mean, I, I, I think I accidentally got hit by some of my bald brothers. That's right. Bald brotherhood forever, man. Sup? But you know, that's prison, man. I mean, you, you don't never know what side is coming from. Lewis has yet to make any alliances. Meanwhile, an unprecedented peace has been brokered between black and white prison gangs. The once insurmountable racial divide now bridged by a mutual hatred for Lewis. Students, settle down. Settle down. That includes you, Mr. Rodriguez. Do you want to take the milk carton off of your head? Thank you so much. We have a special guest today. He's from this neighborhood, and he's a former gang member. And he's come here this morning to talk to you about life choices. So please give a warm Central High School welcome to Donnie Herrera. I used to be just like you. Just like you, 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 you. Used to clown around. Make fun of the principal. Put milk on my head, just like you, Rodriguez. <laughs> and then, I got hit with AIDS. Consequences. Got into some real trouble, boy. Stole from my mom and dad. Stole from my own sister. And then one day, a piano fell on my head. What? Consequences. I feel like it missed a step there. Gave me 88 concussions, one for each key. You think I'm learning, but no. See, I'm just like you. I got back out there, started making some real crimes. Home, boy! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, I got trampled by a herd of buffalo. What? Consequences. OK, Donnie, um, I think we've had enough. I'm done with my story! I was like you. I decided it'd be cool to hang out with some of the tough kids. Mm. You know who I'm talking about. They were hanging on the streets late at night. More than cigarette smokers' homes. And then, one day, 
<laughs> I got shot out of a catapult. That's that it. Okay. Into the mouth of a dragon! Students, everything you've heard here today is a lie. I don't lie anymore! You're all excused. Look at me! I shouldn't even be here! Thank you, Aurelio. I apologize, Therese. So I got really deep in the crimes. I did a drive-by at my own daughter's quinceanera. Yeah! Shot up everybody, dead, killed! Yeah! Yeah! Then I got sucked into a wormhole. Consequences? That's it, okay. Everybody go. That's I was it. in another dimension! Tried to introduce my own parents to each other. Almost failed. Arm was disappearing. I invented Johnny B. Good at my parents' prom, and at the last moment they kissed and it came back. The faster we get away from him, the better. No, nobody believed me! Where's my crack? Where's my crack? Oh, oh. Consequences! <laughs>